auction we're live hello beautiful beautiful people hey y'all welcome to my channel my name is Cass. if you guys are new i talk all about content creation that is diy beginner and budget friendly to enhance your brand business or just create better content in general and in today's video you guys we are talking all about building a free photo studio and shooting in your free photo studio let's get it <laughs> Honestly, you guys, the results from the shoot came out so good that I'm shooting with my lamp right now. <laughs> All right, you guys, today we have a shoot. Today we are building a fully home studio. Told y'all how to build a studio in your room in a small space, a photography studio, all that good stuff. But you know what? Let's take it even deeper. Let's build it for free. So you know I'm always talking about having your own studio because why not? We're stuck at home. It's a budget friendly. You get a free professional looking shoot whenever you want. So the first most important thing that I talk about in all of my studio videos is your backdrop. What is going to be behind you for the shoot, your set, your location. So I came up with some free solutions. Here I have a white sheet. This is what I use sometimes for a white backdrop. You guys saw me use it in my um, take photos of yourself video as an extension to my white piece of paper that I got from Michaels on the floor. So you might already have like a sheet lying around. Um, I also have this green sheet that I got to use as a green screen. It's not really the bright green screen color, but it, it's a sheet. So, you know, just go around, see if you have something like a wall that's a decent color. Even though my wall is just like tan, we could still do some fun stuff with that. Um, also, you guys can use fabric. I couldn't really find any like fabric around my house. So we're going to try out the zebra blanket. We shall see. Now, how are we going to prop it up? You guys already know might not know if you guys watch my photo studio in your bedroom video I did mention that I use little push pins to prop them up if I don't want to use my backdrop stand so I typically use that when I'm propping something up in my room so you guys can do that if you don't have push pins available to you and you're not hanging up something too thick like this blanket then you can actually just use masking tape I use masking tape for the longest time to hang things up so if you already have tape at home wonderful if you don't have tape you don't have push pins and you're trying to do this right now it's all good you just have to get back into your child mind set when you used to build forts and you can actually lay your sheet your backdrop whatever you have across like a table or on the back of a chair and then you'll just have to sit down within that so the first important thing that i always mention when it comes to building a studio is to have the location that your studio is going to be so in order to secure a free studio you have several options you guys a you can just use the wall that's there whether it's a pink wall a white wall a tan wall whatever color wall you have you could just utilize the wall that's already in that space and you can do a lot of cool things with just that that wall and then playing around with props and different things we'll get to that but you know just have a wall so the next thing if you do want to kind of finesse that wall you can play around with sheets you can take the sheets from your bed if you have any leftover sheets if you know anyone with old sheets that they're not using um you can ask them if you can have those sheets and that's the next best thing i still use sheets to shoot you guys so you can definitely use sheets they look just like the cloth backdrops that you order online anyways also, if you look around your house, you may be able to find some kind of other fabric. You may just have fabric laying around. You may have some clothes that are really wide, like a scarf or something, and you could use that as a backdrop fabric. In one of my videos one time, I used a trash bag as a backdrop, so you can u literally use so many different things as a backdrop, you guys. Um, you can use a table wrap if you have any gift wrap or anything. Like, you can literally probably look around your house and find something that could be a backdrop if you don't want to just use the wall have a zebra backdrop after the backdrop the next important thing to have in the studio is your actual lighting to light your free studio we're gonna play around with a lamp i also stole this flashlight from my sister you might have a lantern so the next thing that's important in a studio you guys is the lighting so there's several different lighting options i did just drop a lighting video last week if you just want to see lighting in general but some free lighting options that you may already have around the house include your window in my lighting video i do go over more specifically how to shoot with your window but your window is always available to you during the daytime if you want to just utilize the sun also like i said right now i'm lighting this with a lamp so you guys can use a lamp in my lighting your photos video i use my desk lamp my nightstand side table lamp um in order to light that right now i'm just using my tall lamp from ikea so you guys can use a whole lamp to light your whole shoot and actually get some really good quality looking lighting um you guys will also see i use things like a flashlight 
you could use the light available in the room um yeah i use like a flashlight i use a lantern you guys can use a flashlight on your phone so you can kind of just look around see the different lights that are available to you the main thing about a studio is that you can move the lighting and put lighting in different directions i think that's what's really important about a studio and you can focus the lighting so if you can find any lights that you can move manipulate um have a dark room and have one light on then that is perfect for lighting once you have secured your lighting and your backdrop you are ready for props i'm gonna be playing around with this pink cowgirl hat i'm gonna have these cat eye shades just go around the house you guys you can grab plants grab whatever you think would be cool to have in a shoot maybe you don't know what to do with it yet but you know that's what it's all about figuring out as we go along right <laughs> so let's figure it out camera settings my camera is on 30 shutter speed 4.0 f-stop 800 iso we are shooting with a sigma 18 to 200 millimeter and i'm on i'm like in between 18 and 28 closer to 28 millimeters <music> next important thing that I feel like is important to have in a studio you don't necessarily need to have it is props so literally you guys just look around your house I utilize wardrobe in this shoot for props for the most part so I use my hat I use my sunglasses and that's kind of what my props are for this shoot if you want to use plants you guys will see I use a fake plant you can use a real plant whatever you have literally all I did was like walk around every room in my house especially like the storage rooms and like grab anything that I thought would be interesting to play with as like a prop or whatever so go ahead you guys see what props things that you might want to play with things that you think you can manipulate things that relate things that maybe don't relate you know just get creative have fun All right, now for all my folks out there who happen to not have something to hang up your backdrop with and need to lay it against something, I'm gonna go ahead and lay my black sheet, which is actually a backdrop, but you know, is who knows the difference. I'm gonna lay it across my desk and we're gonna do a shoot from there. Change of plans, I'm laying it across my bed. I'm bottom here.
think we're done here so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video all about free photo studio i know i didn't go too much into equipment but in my last video you guys i did not my last video two videos ago video from last week i did go over how to photograph yourself so you guys can definitely check out that video i use my phone in that video as well as my dslr camera so if you don't have a dslr camera available to you like i used on this shoot then definitely check that out i show you how to shoot on your phone get great quality photos from your phone you guys but yeah so that is it for building a free home studio if you have a little bit more money to invest you can definitely check out my diy um home studio for under a hundred dollars video and then if you want to really just deck out your studio go all out um then you guys can check out my photography studio in your bedroom video on how to build a studio but thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video and like join the work that fam then make sure to subscribe turn on notifications to be notified whenever i post a new video and thumbs up this video to support my channel as always if you guys use any of these techniques to create photos and post them on instagram make sure to use hashtag work that fam so that i can see them appreciate y'all play some music have fun go shoot let's get it peace